A NASCAR legend, Bruton Smith, was laid to rest today. And Smith was a racing titan and was critical in growing the NASCAR brand way beyond Charlotte. People gathered to pay the respects to the creator of the Charlotte Motor Speedway. And Queen City News reporter Robin Kennedy live now at Central Church in Southeast Charlotte. And Robin Smith's impact goes way beyond racing. What can you tell us? That's right, Alicia. Some big names in NASCAR, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Joe Gibbs, and Jim France were all here today at Bruton Smith's funeral. But racing was not the only sport represented. Mourners said goodbye to a racing legend who built a motorsports empire in Concord. Bruton Smith was one of a kind. God made Bruton. He watched all that he did here on earth, and I wouldn't be a bit surprised if Bruton today is sitting with God and telling him about the new project that he wants to do in heaven. Funeral attendees laughed and celebrated the life of the NASCAR Hall of Famer, who was just 17 years old when he bought his first race car. And the next year, Smith went on to promote his first stock car race in Midland. Bruton was an awful good friend of mine. And it's pretty seldom the two guys tell each other they love each other, especially Bruton. And, uh, but we had a lot of the same beginning. You know, Bruton grew up on a farm. And I grew up on a farm. Now, he loved cars, and I love cars. He loved racing. I love racing. Smith became a racing titan, founding Sonic Automotive and Speedway Motorsports, then growing the brand beyond Charlotte to owning other tracks around the country. Smith's name is stamped on Concord. The road named for him is a main corridor near Concord Mills. And Smith's legacy doesn't stop with racing. He helped pave the way for other professional sports in Charlotte. The legacy that he leaves in this community, the impact he's had on so many people's lives, um, I don't think will ever be forgotten. Smith is known for pushing the envelope. He was a tremendous innovator. And there's so many things like the condos I never thought made any sense. And, uh, you know, I was the one that said the Roval wouldn't work. And the Roval has been super good. His impact to Charlotte sports won't be forgotten. Though Bruton's time on earth has passed, his contributions are lasting and they will live on. Now the Smith family held a private graveside ceremony today following the funeral. I'm live in Southeast Charlotte. Robin Kennedy, Queen City News. Robin, thank you so much for telling us that story. To see more from today's services honoring the life of Bruton Smith, you can go to our website at qcnews.com.